and gentlemen, the horses have reached the starting gate. It's post time. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. Beneath the iconic twin spires for the first time. At the field rounds the far turn, heading to the final furlong of the Kentucky Derby. Travis, you're preparing to call your fifth Kentucky Derby race. What is it about that that you look forward to every year? When you're a racing fan and you have a passion for the game and you like seeing the horse races day in and day out, there's one race a year that really matters and that's the Kentucky Derby. So to have the opportunity to call a race like the Kentucky Derby, it truly is a dream come true for someone like myself. We grew up north of Saratoga, which was the place to be in the summer, still is. I remember I'd just wander around the track, watch the races from all different vantage points. And at some point I just became obsessed with the announcing aspect of it. Up next is today's 10th race. It is the 36th running of the Iroquois. There's so few people that can do what you do and do it well. What are the challenges and how are you able to do what you do? You have to have an ability to watch the race develop and unfold and, and have an idea of what's happening. You have to memorize the jockey's silk so you know which horse is, is which horse. You wanna know those horses inside and out. I'll give you an example from last year. There was a lot of horses wearing the same silks, Windstar, and Justify had the silks on as well. But Bob Baffert uses a blue shadow roll which goes over the horse's nose. It was not sunny, in fact, it was absolutely miserable. But they turned for home, and I looked for that blue shadow roll to make sure that it was justified. Justified turn for home in front! Without having, you know, all the work ahead of time, who knows whether or not that that's at the top of mind when they turn for home. Justify and Mike Smith are digging down on a two-length lead! You have to know all the nuances of every single horse to really be able to deliver a good call. All right for Justify! The Kentucky Derby was never in doubt! Do you have a favorite Kentucky Derby memory? I had never been to the Kentucky Derby, so my first Kentucky Derby that I was going to call was the first Derby I was going to go to. And before a record crowd of 170,000, it's time for the Kentucky Derby. And that was absolutely wild. Walking into Churchill on Derby Day, experiencing what it's like when they come on the track, and then the race itself, it'll be hard to top what that was like. And it's American Pharaoh pulling away late. American Pharaoh rules the Derby. I hope everybody gets to experience what it's like when they cross the wire like that. It's, it's the coolest feeling in the world. <laughs> oh my God, that was so much fun.